here's how we left it. Constantly have to adjust your strategy and that's what's happening right in front of your very own locker nuts eyes right now. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, shame, shame, shame. This looks like it could be a jewelry box. There's something in there. Tupperware, Tupperware, that is the real deal. Tupperware. And she has a lot of Tupperware. So what do we got here? Nightstand. That sounds interesting. To see that it was $940. Oh. What's this? Look at that. That's, I think, Chanel logo. It's got some money in here, too. Ooh. What's this? What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, we are back to my unit again. We have, we're gonna be here a lot, so I hope you get used to the, like me starting videos that way. We're gonna be here a lot, why? Because this thing is packed full, packed full of boxes, mostly boxes of great stuff that I got out of that recent locker. This is that one that we thought might be a consignment store. I don't think it was. It was owned by a rich lady. We picked it up for one buck. It was a huge 10 by 27 unit. Why? Because the other bidders, there weren't very many bidders and they thought it was uh, maybe a consignment store. They weren't impressed. Actually, I wasn't impressed, but I saw potential and we got lucky. We got lucky and we're gonna do some digging today. You ready to get started? Let's get in there. Here's how we left it. And what are we gonna be doing today? Hmm, probably some of this right here. This stuff right here is some garbage. This is some clothes on racks that we won't be getting to, at least not at this time. These are some processed boxes right here. Ooh, it would be really nice if I get in here to my workstation. I got a little table set up there. If we could get in here and work today, that would be lovely. I don't know if we're ready for that yet, but uh, let me pull some of this stuff out. You know, I'll have to cover this with the blankets. It's a little warm today. Let me pull this out and let's see if we can get started right here. All right, quick update here, guys. Dang it, dang it. Forgot my SIM card. I got my GoPro. I don't have a SIM card. So I got all this pulled out. I'm all ready to go. And uh, it looks like we we'll change the plans. This is what the reality of a storage auction business is. Storage locker business. You gotta, you gotta roll with it. You gotta make things up as you go. You gotta improvise and you constantly have to adjust your strategy. And that's what's happening right in front of your very own locker nuts eyes right now. Uh, because here's what we're gonna do. Instead, I'm gonna put some boxes on this van right here. Luckily, I have a big van. And we'll take those home and we'll go through them at home, okay? Um, yeah, so, all right, well, that's kind of boring, but that's the way it is. Uh, I mean, this part's boring. The excitement will continue once I get home, which, hey, for you guys, is gonna be just in a second, but for me, it's gonna be a little bit. All right, let me get going. Got it all back in there. We got some boxes on the van. Managed to cut myself. <laughs> all in the day's work, right? Okay, now let's head back to the house and go through those boxes. We got a fair amount, probably more than I'm gonna go through, but uh, yeah, it's all right. I like to have more than not enough, right? All right, guys, back at the nut house. Got a little space carved out right here. You see, we have a lot of stuff. We have a lot of stuff. This is all stuff in prep for auctions. Um, all those bins of Eileen Fisher, just miscellaneous stuff that we need to lot up. You know, like, for example, comic books and records. I wait till I find enough that I can get them in a full lot and do a big enough lot to make sense for shipping and stuff like that and also make it exciting. All right, let's get some of these boxes out right here. And uh, let's do some unboxing. Are you guys excited? I'm actually excited. Um, I just came home did a couple things like paid some bills and uh, responded to some emails but I'm like you know what this stuff's boring let's get into this that stuff's fun all right we've got a box to start with right here and what does that say miscellaneous bedroom what does this say I don't know I can't read it we're tight up in here <laughs> in this garage of mine I just didn't want to set up a table outside do it out there but I might change my mind on that Let's start with this. Okay, the miscellaneous bedroom, and I see a lot of shoes and stuff. Let's see what we got. 
And usually I'm not too impressed with flip flops, but since this locker has been so inc in just incredible, I don't want to pass anything over. I don't even know what that is. Something club. We're going to let those go to the market. Some glitter ones. Made in Brazil. A C club. S E A C club. Made in Brazil. I don't know if those are worth anything. It's a bunch of them though. She must have liked those. Here's some more. Got them in every color. I love her hangers, these wood hangers. These are great. We'll either hang on to these if we ever do a boutique in our backyard like what I was talking about before. And if not, then we'll definitely be upgrading our hangers in our house because those wood ones are very nice. And they're a little pricey too. What's that? Lady Laura's? I don't know. Thick ones right here. What? Crystallized with Swarovski crystals. How funny. Lady, I have a feeling this is something special, these right here. Look at that. They definitely got some bling. Nomad. More of that C-Club. There's some more of those. Look, she even put foam in there to, to keep their form. I wonder if these are expensive. Well, I'll look it up. I'll show on the camera there if they're expensive. No. Havianas. These are uh, not cheap either. These are pretty nice as far as flip-flop goes. A little bit more expensive. Okay, quite a few more wood hangers here. More C-Club. Got a bag here of something. Fucking <laughs> maxi pad. All right, this will be good flea market stuff. There's a empty or almost empty bottle. We'll chuck that. More maxi pads. A little Colgate toothpaste. Hey, that's that's never been opened. I'm looking for the expiration date, not because I even care about the expiration date, just because I think it's funny that people actually care about expiration dates of toothpaste. You know, things that I ingest that go into my stomach and absorb by my body, I understand. Stuff that scrubs your teeth, I'm not nearly as concerned about. I don't know what that is. Couldn't read it. Oh, shame, shame, shame. I'm on a diet, guys. Oh, mmm. So tempting. I mean, I've got, I've got willpower. Okay, so I'm not really being tempted. I'm just saying, what a missed opportunity for the locker food challenge. All right, here we got a bunch more. Uh, just bathroom type stuff, right? Allo Vista, baby. There's a body wash and shampoo. There's a nice cone right there. Deodorant. Okay, this is not exciting, right? Okay, let me just get through this. Man, this oh, this does say miscellaneous bedroom. This seems more like bathroom stuff because here we've got some bathroom towels. There's a very that's a very heavy garbage can right here. Very heavy. Let's see what's in there. Not because it's metal, uh, because there's something heavy in it. Those are some nice towels. <laughs> Just for display, right? They're not really very practical with the little tassels. Uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. A little wooden tiki guy. 19 bucks on that. Auction item, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe. If you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about, uh, I do like try to find auction items, meaning items that will go into our live auctions. Those are every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific on our YouTube channel, right? Oh, this is suddenly getting very, very interesting. I think this is some jewelry. This is Yves Saint Laurent. And, okay. It's a really nice keychain. This is Yves Saint Laurent. It looks like a postcard. Uh, really nice, very thick and heavy uh, keychain there. But wow, what a fancy bag and box. Make sure you check out our live auctions. They're every week. And then we do some midweek pop-ups from, from time to time. Especially when we have a lot of good stuff. Such as right now, we have a lot of good stuff to sell. This looks like it could be a jewelry box. There's something in there. Okay. This buttons. More little buttons. We're finding lots of buttons. I have been keeping those. I've been putting those aside because, I don't know, I'm not a button hoarder. I just think maybe somebody's going to want those. We're finding them from brands like Gucci and, and stuff like that. Here's another one. Okay, this is a little carved wood box. Very nice. And what's this? Maria. Oh, 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 there's something rolled up in there. There actually is something rolled up in there. I'm going to have to figure out what that is. All right. Let's use that. Okay. What do we have here? This is a mystery. Maria. Oh, it's the, the definition of her name. Helpful, caring, j loving. You have the ability to create understanding and harmony within your life. You are pliable, forgiving, and tactful. You avoid argument for the sake of sparing another person's feelings. That's nice. Very nice. And that was in the garbage bag. <laughs> I mean the garbage can. Whoops. It looks like a candle. Huh. It says Tahoe candle. 
And it looks like you put a little tea candle inside there. There's a nice flea market item. Did I find this exact same spray before? It's for, it's Oceanic Tousled Wave Spray, spray effect. You put this in your hair, for your hair, I swear I found that exact same thing in a uh, locker not too long ago. Fekai, Fekai, I wonder if that's expensive. There's a Kleenex dispenser in this really nice metal container here to match the garbage can. There's no one of those. Oh, back scratcher. You know what? I'd be keeping that, but I already have two or three of them on my desk. Liz, seriously, all locker finds. Hey, you know what? She's got it. Oh, baby, she's got it. Venus. Uh, there's a few blades left in this. I'll put this aside. Maybe Jan or the, one of the girls uses Venus. I'm not sure, but I know those are expensive and that will sell super duper. Ooh, I see something good here. I wish I could give you guys a better view of the box. Maybe this, this little table setup's not great. That's Apple. Apple logo. iPod, 40 games. What do we got? Ooh. Uh, this is just the case, but that's a nice case. We did find an iPod recently and I think it was in this locker. Actually, I know for a fact it was in this locker. We did, we found it. I know where it is too, it's right over there. Here's the earphones. Here's the little controller. This is all iPod related accessories. There's the power cord. Oh, that's good. This is funny. If you guys remember this box, I found this on the first day when Jan and I were digging. Palm Pilot box and we opened it and there's a iPod. And that's that's got to be it. 40 gig iPod. That's funny. And there's the little cradle for it here. Um, the rest of it looks like Palm Pilot stuff. So that's interesting that she kept so many boxes and stuff. But we're, we're going to have to... Oof, it makes it really difficult to sell because I almost sold that iPod already. Alright, that's actually a really good find. I'm going to plug that in and test it. That will definitely make our live auctions. We've got a couple more flip-flops in here. What's that? Shower brush. Brush your backside with that. Oh, it's even got a little clip. You can hook it. Okay, that's cool. A little bag here. Old bills and stuff. However, at the very, very bottom, there's some foreign money. Huh, she must have brought that back from one of her extravagant vacations. There's actually quite a bit. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm liking that. Okay, there is one more thing in that box, and it's heavy, and it's wrapped in paper, and, oh, it's another cross. We have one of these already. Check this out. This is a smaller one. We had a rather large one. We sold it at the flea market very, very quickly. It sold in the morning, and that's a nice piece right there. I like that. It's, it is heavy. Cast iron, but it's more modern. It's not very old. That's a neat piece. Okay. You guys ready? Let's see. I'm not sure how the lighting is right here, guys. Let me... Doing a little trial and error today, so I apologize. If this is the first video you've watched, I'm usually not this unprofessional. I usually have my stuff dialed in. Today I'm a little bit off. It's just one of those days. You know what? And it is Monday. Usually I like Mondays. Though. Mondays are our auction days, and that's usually a good thing. Okay, here's a little book. Some junk mail. It's really windy today, too. Otherwise, I'd drag this outside, but I know the wind's just going to destroy our audio. All right, I got a little box down there for garbage. That's nice. A little leather organizer on a Lazy Susan there. Policeman. Policeman business card. Somebody got in trouble. Trouble with the po po. Candle holder. Another candle holder. I don't even think there's need to be in so much paper. Wasteful paper. Another one. What did this box say, by the way? Brown vase and candle holder. Alright. Probably gonna be something that all these little candle holders are gonna go into. That's my guess, that's my prediction. What do you guys think? Another one? Uh huh. What do you think? I think that might be it. What do you think? Yep. 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 Yepers. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. I almost feel like just putting that up on Facebook Marketplace and letting it go local. What do I get for that? I don't know. I don't know. Ten bucks? This is heavy right here, whatever this is. And there it is. Da -da -da -da. It's a big brown vase. Made in China. Okay. Nothing good in there. Just paper. Well, that was a big to-do about not very much. Okay, this box right here says fragile, but then it says kitchen Tupperware. That's, that's, those are op opposite statements, aren't they? Kitchen Tupperware is usually not fragile. In fact, it's kind of the opposite of fragile. We'll see. We'll see. Ready? Let's see what we're going on. 
That is kitchen Tupperware. Let's see, is this Tupperware Tupperware? It is Tupperware Tupperware. That is the real deal, Tupperware. And she has a lot of Tupperware. Ooh, I'm, mmm, this is nice stuff. Tupperware's got a little bit of value, doesn't it? I'm not even sure. I know it's like guaranteed for life, I believe. It's, you can tell it's nice. You can tell it's good quality. Quality. Something's down there, though. Let me get these out. Okay, that's a pretty crazy set. There's a lot of pieces, but there's a bunch of paper at the bottom. Let's see if it's hiding anything. It can't all be paper, right? Why would you wrap that in paper? It's Tupperware. It's a nice little uh, funnel. Okay, <laughs> it's the bottom of a blender. There's the other part of the blender. Where's the lid? My goodness, why don't they just leave the lid on and then pack it? Save all that paper. Well, you know what? We're not wasting the paper though, right? We're gonna reuse that paper. When we do shipping, I reuse clean paper and that's clean. So it will not go to waste, but it is a shame they didn't need to use so much up front. Okay, let's see what we got here. Maybe I should have left this one in the locker. I don't know. We've got this little TV. Looks like it's in good condition. It's a Sansui. It's got a VHS built in. Kind of neat. Looks like it's got the remote and everything in here. That's pretty cool. All right. Next one. This one says miscellaneous stuff. Well, you know what? I like stuff. <laughs> I like stuff. I like going through boxes and finding stuff. Especially good stuff. Let's see kind of stuff she got. All right, let's see. First off, a couple little stands or something. I don't know. There's a little Santa sleeping in a bed. Another little, that's some Christmas stuff, okay. A couple of dictionaries. Ooh, what's this? A little fish, brass fish container. Huh, that's neat. I like little boxes. Oh, another speed stacks. We already found one. Now we found another one. That's kind of cool. It does have a little bit of value on eBay, but not significant. What's this? It is a uh, silver plate, I would imagine. Here we got a couple goblets. That's neat. Oh, this broke off. That's too bad. That was supposed to be right there. Candle holder. This goes inside. Another broken part on it. That's definitely going to flea market, unfortunately. I don't think anyone's going to buy it even there. Look at these. Little brass. Santa's magic key right here. Yeah, that's cool. Santa, please stop here. That's neat. Those are cute. Those who would add to a Christmas lot, I don't have any Christmas lots ready, but maybe we'll put them aside and wait till we do. Fabric flowers. Oh, it's got Velcro on it. Stick that on something. Some paperwork. Boring, boring, boring. It's a little collar for a dog. It's very small. That would barely even fit Luna the cat. Ooh, what is this? Ah, it's a photo album. Dang, I thought it was a purse. Got excited for a second there. Some photos, we'll get that back to the owner, and high school musical, that's about it. Well, that's a card. <laughs> I thought that was a record, it's a card. It's humongous. Alright, next box, and what do we got here? Nightstand. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Maybe some jewelry? Wishful thinking, of course, but hey, maybe you take your... Knee brace off next to bed? What? Not what I was expecting, right? Not what I was expecting at all. All right, here's a little diver's log. I found these before when people go to like a dive school and um, they take lessons on how to scuba dive and they get all this stuff. Another leg brace here. Somebody must have broke a leg or something. Power shot, digital elf. Did we find a power shot? I think we did. Well. Here's the rest of the stuff to go with it. No camera in here, but I think we already found this digital elf, and that's a good find. Always helps the value when you find all that support stuff. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent, what's this? The receipt is so old, it is like almost completely faded, but I can still read a little bit. I can read enough to see that it was $940, whatever it was. Man, some people just spend so much money. So much money. United Airlines plane ticket, where'd they go, where'd they go? SFO to DGG. Where's DG? Or oh, maybe it's OGG. OGG. Where's that at? Probably somewhere fancy and expensive. Oh, there's an Angela Anastasio, uh, a little business card from a shop or something. That's those are really expensive shoes. Some of the really expensive shoes that we found. Dr. Spock book. Oh. What's this? 
Look at that. That's, I think, Chanel logo. Hold the presses. Okay, let me put this stuff in the flea market box. Oh, oh, oh. It's a Chanel wallet. Okay, it's got her old license in here. And that is Chanel right there. Chanel. It's got some money in here, too. Chanel wallet with money. Come on. We love finding this kind of stuff. All right, the Chanel wallet's got a little, the little tab on the zipper's missing. It's too bad. This makes up for it. <laughs> nice handful of change. Lots of quarters. For some cash money, let's see what we got. Oh, Blockbuster card. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Even if we find a uh, gift card in here, I don't think we're going to be able to use it if this has been sitting for seven years. There's a couple of her old IDs. She was born in... 1963. She's a little bit older than me. All right, Chanel wallet. Even though it is uh, used, it's not abused. Oh, and there's a dime. I'm not gonna whine. And I have been looking in all of the cards. I'm just hoping maybe they left a little money in there. These people seem to not care so much about money, spending it crazy like. Uh, this is a book I think for that poll, that exercise poll that we found. That's the book for it, I think. We find some photos. All the photos we're gonna get back to the owners. There's another wallet. Oh my goodness, this one's Gucci. Gucci wallet. This one's also full. Got some photos here. She left her wallets full, not full of cash, but if they're, they're full of stuff. Gucci. This one's also in pretty good condition. It's like, yo lady, why'd you need to buy another wallet? This one was perfectly fine. You could have just kept using it. It's Gucci after all. Oh, okay, we've got a couple of gift cards. Starbucks and Nordstrom. Ooh, ah. I haven't found a gift card in a while. I just realized that. That's weird, huh? All the good stuff we've found lately. I've not found a gift card in a good long while. The Gucci business card. She was probably one of their favorite customers. Louis Vuitton business card. Those sales reps probably loved her. I see another wallet in OMG. This one's Prada. What the heck? How's that possible? Chanel, Gucci, Prada, three wallets, three amazing brands. This one's in good condition too. Dang. This all come out of this box right here. It looks like a bunch of junk. But it did say nightstand. I love boxes that say nightstand. Yeah, let's come here. Another Nordstrom gift card, yo! We'll be checking those out. I don't think this is the type of lady that kept ex like zero balance gift cards. This wallet does have a little bit of tearing right here though. The cards going in and out have torn through the side right there. That's too bad because it just determines how much life this has left in it. Still product. Gucci buttons. More Gucci buttons. That's funny. Look at this. Box is marked nightstand. Mm -hmm. Found three wallets in there. Guess what brands they are. Yeah, three. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Gucci. Yeah, that's a good Jimmy that. Uh-huh. Chanel, Chanel. And Prada. It's all real too. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can. But I mean it's awesome. Check this out. I mean they're just so loaded. Oh, I'll be taking those. Nordstrom, Nordstrom, and Starbucks. All these were in the wallets. Yeah, I'll be checking that. Can you let me know yep, how much they have so I can update these guys right here? Hey there, locker nuts, brought my hubby some Starbucks. I pot shuffle box, hopefully you find that. This looks cute. Call me. 24 calling cards, 550 from Papyrus. That's super cute. A little Bluetooth Motorola earpiece. Yes. I think it's outdated, but put in an electronic slot, see if anybody wants it. See if we can do something with it. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get through the rest of this right here. There's a lot of junk in here. All right, these are something to do with your shoes. All right, here we got some. Oh, there's the iPod. Yes. That's awesome. And that goes with the box. Oh, I'm so happy about that. This has been a good little box. I had a feeling about it. My feelings aren't always right, but this time it was. Icy Hot Patch. I could have used that a few weeks ago. Could have used that when I, my back was acting up. And just to let you guys know, my back was not actually... It wasn't like technically my back. Like when you say back, you think like spine and stuff. There's some personal letters. I'll get that back to the owners. It was just a muscle on my side. This portion over here, if you really want to know. It wasn't really, it was not the spine. Um, just pulled muscle. It's no different than any other athlete, you know. 
every athlete that does extensive, uh, intensive, super hard physical exercise like I do, well, we all suffer the same. Oh, Jana was laughing at me. These are all brand new cards right here, so that's, that's good. We sold a lot of those in our auction uh, just this week. Grand Wiley Resort. <laughs> that's a nice resort in Maui. I think we've stayed there before years ago. $1,400. bucks. not cheap. Not cheap. There's more travel docks, too. Chalet. That's for a lock right there. Might have to put that aside. Just in case we find that lock. Ooh. What's this? Got a couple little stones right there. Oh, they're hearts. It was in this bag. I think that might be something expensive. Definitely going to put that aside. I was just about to say, well, that's about it for this box. That'll do it. But then, nope. Nope. Bed Bath & Beyond and a Macy's gift cards. Oh, oh yeah. Alright guys, let's get another box. This one's light. Okay, grab it by the tape. Let's see what we got. It's not looking so good. Oh boy, those are corny. I may just say they're fruity. Alright. Um, I know this was a popular decor back in the early 2000s. Just not so much anymore. And uh, what are these? Draperies? Yeah, there's the, the drapery rings. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's good to go straight to the flea market. Okay. Let's take a peek in this one right here. It says miscellaneous. What does it say there? I don't know. VCR? Plates? Boxes? I don't know. Uh, mm, mm. We'll go through that one. All right, what is this? What is this? Nap socks. Huh, brand new. Touch, sleep, revive. Brook, oh, Brookstone, okay. Ow. I have a feeling I know what this is. It just totally, basically bit me. Look at this. That's the stinking shark's mouth, right? Ooh, those teeth are sharp. I mean, I can't even imagine getting bit by something with teeth like that. Wow, that's so cool. Well, that's kind of neat. Should that be an auction piece? I don't know. We'll put it aside and make our minds up later. Hmm, look at this. This is rather interesting. Conditioner, yes. I need a conditioner. I already found a little bit in here, but it was only like that much conditioner. Uh, what's that? Beach Waves. Aqua Nutrients. That's the same brand as the other stuff I pulled out. I think that might be a good brand. Bumble and Bumble Lotion. BB Styling. I don't know. BB Shine. BB Straight. BB Straight. If you're watching this, you might BB Locker Nuts. BB Straight. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff in here. I think this is going to... Mm -mm, that shouldn't have been open. BB Shine. There's a whole bunch of this stuff. I'm going to show this to the girls and see if they want to take anything out of there. Oh, there's the Sharper Image Nose Hair Trimmer because... Hey, if you only own like three or four nose hair trimmers. Alright, what's this? This is actually turning into a nice little box right here. Because these little cosmetic things, I kind of like it. Skin Iceland. Okay, that's gone. This is a box. Satin cover gray, silicone enhanced for ultra vivid colors. I don't know. That's a lot of words. Mac. I think there was uh, uh, eyelashes on here. I don't know. That's gone. Is this a garbage bag? This is, that's not gone. There's some stuff in this. Anti-frizz silkening cream. It's that brand again. It's good stuff. Some more stuff here. Ooh, this is good. I need this. Applicator bottle. Yes! I need this exact thing right here. And do you know why? Because I just bought this right here, which is dry cleaning fluid for cleaning like if we see little spots or something on those clothes. And this thing was heck expensive. That was like 45 bucks. So that's perfect. I can use that to dispense it. And heck, I could even use this little brushy brush right here to work it into the fabric. See, come on little spot. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah, I'm kind of weird, guys. I'm sorry. If you're new to the channel, get used to it or find a new place place to watch storage videos because this is a weird channel okay satin ultra vivid fashion colors and it looks like she burned the, the straight up burn burn forty dollars whatever that was this is bb prep i hope that bb expensive some little flippy flops right here what is that for it's like it's just a lanyard put your room key on there it's kind of cool yeah, there's a couple of hats, Nike, and Under Armour. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Nike, Nike, Nike. Need a hat? Hey, 
Camille does. A black Nike hat? hat? Huh? You asked for a black or white hat for Dan. You're kidding me. Look at these. Yeah. They're awesome. We were just shopping and I said, wait and see if you have any at home. You know what? She could take her pick. Awesome. I'll let her even take two. <laughs> There's a yellow one with tags. 18 bucks. Dang, guys. What the? Come on! Why do you need so many hats? I'm a very simple person. I do not need that much stuff, okay? Now, I find lots of stuff in the storage locker, so um, it's easy for me to say, I guess. Under Armour, NCL. Here's another Nike. Ooh. Faith. Our daughter's name is Faith. This is really dusty, though. That can be fixed. Faith. Oh, this is nice. I bet you Camille's going to want this one right here. That's cool. Well, that's, I was going to say it's got a felt in here. I don't want it to be too warm if she's going to camp. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a nice right there. That's a nice set of hats. I'm sure we'll find something for Camille. And look at that. These are just, every one of these like a little present. Fun bag of good stuff. Brand new things. Skin shampoo and skin spongy. You'll never use a washcloth again. Bare minerals how to. There's some first aid stuff. That always sells good. Lint brush, we don't sell those. We use them like mad. Oh, this is good right here. If you guys don't have one of these, Oh, it still works. This takes the little roly pulleys off your clothes. If you have a little lint or loose thread, it'll zap it right off. These are very helpful. What is this? First, I thought it was baby clothes. Pink champ champagne shower syrup. I wonder if that tastes good on my pancakes. All right, I don't know. I'll put it aside. Maybe it'll go into a auction. There's a really nice, what looks to be a nice soap. Lady Princesses. How much was this? Oh, they cut it off. It must have been a gift. I bet you that was expensive, though. It smells nice. It smells kind of ladyish, though. I don't know if I'll use that soap. Ooh, eyebrow and neck sideburns. <laughs> little razor. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I think that's funny. Okay, that's good. This is some... That's a few bucks right there. This right here, no chip. Okay, I, I was... Grace is looking for remover, not uh, clear coats. All right, guys, my keep pile's getting kind of big on this one. It, you know, that means I've been finding good stuff, right? Photo mount squares. Those are cool. Aloe Pure Skin Care. Time Repair Serum. Brand new stuff. Aloe Pure. Restore Firming Cream. Aloe don't get aloe Aloe don't get pure away. There's more Aloe Pure. I hope this stuff's expensive. It seems like it's high quality bottles and stuff. It looks like it might be brand new too, I don't know. It's all packaged up like it was shipped this way. I would never ship glass breakables in a padded envelope. Restorative enzyme peel. Ooh, that looks almost radioactive. Radioactive, radioactive. Whoa, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, oh. And there's another one. All right, cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Another little goodie bag. Nothing to, hey, look who's here. Come here. Serious. I was just talking about you, actually. These two right here, these two bags, look through there. I think you might find some cool stuff in there. Okay, just in my nails. Oh, my. What the heck? That looks professional. They're too long now. What? They're like witch's claws. Come on. It's you need for self-defense. No. They'll snap off. You wouldn't. They're fake. Yeah, you're yeah. fake. You're fake. What do you think? You're a YouTuber being all fake? What is this? Some of the other YouTube channels. Fakers. Uh, go through it and see. Here, I'll move okay. this Okay. I'm just going to get batteries, but I got some good listening. Yes, you are. You've been en enlisted. 65 bucks. Spent 65 bucks on whatever this is right here. That's not very much stuff for 60 bucks. Moisturizing lotion with jewels in it. Platinum. Does that Real sound jewels? good? Doesn't that hurt? I don't know. Passion. Gold dust. Do you need gold dust? You put it under your eyes, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, you put sparkles on your face. You know it. Don't. I light it up. Sparkles, Dad. It's glitter. Uh, mm. Picture frame. This is nice. Grace, Grace, can you picture what? this? What is that? It's a picture frame. Get it? Picture this? Oh. Dad jokes. <laughs> Dropping them dead boots. Drop yeah, it like a bomb. So and a dead bomb. There's another one. Oh, not in front. Hmm? Hey 
Hey guys, comment down below if you want to see me give my no, dad a we're not, facial. This is not that type of channel. <laughs> <laughs> let me squash that right now that's not this kind of channel um but they, go ahead and comment if you want but we're not doing that on this channel or, or on any channel not this dad anyways and dad's hey power to you want to get facials on the public it's, you know right ahead uh not me comment down below if you want me to cut his hair camille will be very upset Okay, but anyways, uh, Grace is going to go through this stuff, but I got a boogie, so I'm going to stop this video. We're not stopping this episode, okay? We're just going to stop this video. I got to go prep for our live auction, which is happening in less than one hour. This is Monday. It's after four right now, so uh, I got to get ready for that. And tomorrow, you will already... Uh, this will all have transpired before you see this but don't worry we do them every monday but tomorrow we're doing a pop-up auction grace is going to help jana and faith and they're going to do a little pop-up right sure. little locker nuts ladies and uh take it over so i while they're doing an auction i'll come back here and finish up these last few boxes and wrap this video up stay tuned guys we'll be back soon all right you guys what is up okay auction last night was amazing fantastic uh, was a big big success thanks to all of you viewers who were there and uh, be a part of it we had a lot of fun we saw a lot of great stuff so we went really really late last night we went over six hours crazy right over six hours and then uh today which is monday doing it all over again the, my ladies Jana and the girls are actually in there right now uh, doing the pop-up auction. So we had back-to-back -back auctions. It's tough. It's tough. But luckily, we have uh, some really fantastic moderators that help us, especially Mama G. And uh, they make it happen, really. They make it happen and help us go smoothly. So thanks. Thanks, you moderators. Thank you so much for helping us. And thank you, everyone, for showing up and be a part of that. Uh, it sounds like things are going great in there, but you know what? I don't have time to be a part of it. I got to get to finishing these boxes. We have like, I think, three or four more in here. Let's do it. Let's get this big one right here out of here. It's kind of like the other ones, fragile, but then it says kitchen and bath towels. So we're assuming there's something fragile wrapped up in there with the kitchen and bath towels. That's what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, quick mention too, I wish I caught a clip of it, but right out there, our garbage came this morning, you see the empty containers over there, but right next to it was a big pile of garbage, like we drug out a bunch of wood from the side of the house, and uh, just empty, you know, plastic totes, ones that are all cracked and messed up, including a box or two that I had been filling with garbage from these unboxings right here, we, were, we started some garbage boxes, and <laughs> it's all gone, I love it, I love it. It only happens twice a year they do that, so I wish they did every week. Shoot, I could get used to that. All right, so what do we have here? This is some kind of uh, maybe a tablecloth or something. It looks expensive. Thirty-two fifty. Okay, it's not too expensive, but made in Italy. That's pretty nice, right? It looks nice. Euros fifteen ninety. All right. Well, it looks like a tablecloth with some either placemats or napkins or something. Nice. Yeah, look at these towels. All right. Ooh, restoration hardware towels. I love this, guys. They have like that, it's almost rough. Almost like a sandpaper, real rough. I love that kind of towel. This is the good stuff. These are the ones that really get you dry. There's a brand new, what the heck? Brand new towel right here, 20 bucks. Seriously? 20 bucks for a towel. Hmm. And this is also like a rough towel, nice, but it's got this little tassel. Those are more for decoration. And these two. These are expensive. Nice stuff. Oh man, this is good too. Look at this. Kaufman. Hmm. Really nice bath mat. All right, guys, I know you're probably like, this is so boring. We don't want to look at stinking towels. All right, well, I'm just saying my background was in towels. I appreciate a good towel. I do. We got a lot of towels. And here's what I'm assuming is the fragile stuff here. We'll get a little bit deeper. Shower curtain liner, ultimate luxury. Bed, bath, and beyond, 13 bucks. Massage oil candle. Oh, another one? Oh, that's funny. We already had one, now we got two. That one smells good. The other one was open, scent was kind of diminished. This one's fresh. Okay. <laughs> She's got three of them in the box, brand new. Yeah, this is plastic right here. It's a good container. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, okay. It's metal. It's lightweight. Yeah, nice big presentation platter or serving platter. What's this? 
It's just a big cutting board. Okay. Lastly, uh, just a little plaque. Look at this. 20 bucks spent at Bed Bath & Beyond. She never displayed it, right? It still has the cardboard on it. Probably sat in the closet somewhere. Look at the dust on it. Sat around somewhere for a very long time. All right, well, we're going to get that to a new owner who can appreciate it, enjoy it for all the beauty that it possesses. <laughs> these towels, though, these are pretty legit. 20 bucks each. I don't know. You guys want towels? You want to buy towels? We could put those in our live auction. Maybe we'll do a nice little lot of towels. I don't know. I've never done that before, but um, I'm willing to experiment. Quick mention, these are those Tupperware containers that we found yesterday. I put them in that garbage bag. And I listed those, that whole bag, basically. All that for 25 bucks. I just want to see. I looked them up online, and they're, they're definitely hold some value, which is funny right hard to ship these things though these do not nest very well these particular ones so there's a lot of empty voids and shipping's just so expensive i just didn't want to get into it plus they need a good cleaning 25 bucks it looks like someone's coming to get it today that's kind of nice quick flip 25 bucks cash in my pocket give us a little grocery money okay this one all right looks like we got a couple notebooks here maybe journals got their name on the other side oh it's the kids stuff all right maybe we'll get that back to the owner and what did this one say? This one said miscellaneous, so it could be anything. Why is that so heavy? Legna, made in Italy, king size, that's the size of our bit. It looks brand new. Why is it so heavy though? I almost feel like, is this one of those weighted blankets? But I think, no, it's just a really high quality blanket. It's very heavy. It's probably very warm too. Okay, a few more books here. Uh, there's some whoops that popped right off. There's some um, photos in this envelope and it's Mother's Day at the Ritz Carlton Hotel. <laughs> I'm just laughing because it's just so funny. This gal just had so much money. Everything, everything was expensive, even Mother's Day. All right. Okay, some kind of kid stuff here. Addition and subtraction rock. A little headset right here. It's like a silver plated little cap right here. At least I think it's silver plated. It almost sounds like it's pure silver though. Hear that? I don't see any markings for sterling. Man, that sounds silver though. I'm gonna put that aside. I'm not convinced it's plated. Great States game. Oh, huh, that's nice. They definitely kept good care of their stuff. Look at this. From little plastic bags all organized. I like that. That's it for that box. Next box. And then what do we got? Oh, I guess that's it. Is that right? Yeah, we've been through all that. Okay, well last box guys for this video. And don't worry, I'll, I'll do another video and more unboxing right away. Because this is so much fun. And I got a lot of stuff to get through. Alright, let's see what's in here. Another box marked miscellaneous. So far those have paid out pretty, pretty good. It's a small box, so let's see. Alright, here's a little yearbook. Uh, do, 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 do. another one. Another one for their school. Uh, jeez. I wish some of these cards had some money in it. Uh, photo frame. Little cross. Brand new. How much was that? I don't know. Flea market. There's some stationery here. Catholic children's Bible. Maybe we'll put that with some of the rosaries and stuff we found. Book of Manners. Should I save that for my kids? Nah, they're okay in that department. They're not great, but they're not bad. I don't know, I don't know what these things are. There's a iHome remote. I think we found a couple of iHomes already. There's a bunch of adapters. I think that's what that is. Put that aside. Just in case those iHomes have some value. Oh, a little gift box. What'd they get me? Let's see. They didn't have to do this. This is so very kind. <laughs> More little, I think they're chocolate covered almonds. Again, I'm on a diet. Otherwise, I might brave it. I might, if I'm in the right mood. Meaning my stomach's in the right mood. I might brave that, but... Not right now. I'm I'm being super strict. I need to lose some weight. What do we got here? Appliance. So, nope. Let's see. Nice. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. It's a little self-contained uh, CD player and probably a radio too. Yeah, radio. Nice. That's pretty dope. All right, that'll sell. That will sell. We'll actually look that up. What is the number? It's from 2001. Model AJ3965-17. Yeah, that's a mouthful, but this is, uh, I think it's too small to have too much value. Probably 10 bucks, maybe 20. But we'll look it up and find out. And lastly, what's here? Oh, okay. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. Look, it says pens. That's neat. I like that. What? 
Pottery Barn Kids, 45 bucks. Dang, too bad it's got that dent right there. Otherwise, I'd say it's in nearly perfect condition. Yeah, a lot of pencil scribble scrabble there. That'll go to the market. They'll like it. Yeah, okay. All right, I guess that's, that's it. <laughs> All right, I was totally ready to do like some, you know, some serious unboxing here. I was ready to be in here for the long haul. That's all right. Looks like I'm getting the editing. Actually, I'm probably going to release this on the same day that I'm filming right now. So um, this is Tuesday, March 20, no, I mean, uh, <laughs> June 29th. That's, yeah, wow, that's scary, huh? When you own your own business, dates become kind of irrelevant, but it is June 29th. And if you watch this on June 29th, hey, this just happened. Breaking news. I almost feel like I need to show a newspaper like it's ransom or something. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that was fun. It's, uh, we had some good stuff, especially that one that said nightstand. That was a sweet little box. I like that one. And we found some good stuff to go to the flea market. This is good stuff to sell. This is clean, good stuff. And uh, we'll do all right at the flea market. But of course, we're really looking for those items to go in our live auction or on eBay or to dibs and upgrade what we got. Maybe a couple of those towels are going to get dibs. We'll just have to see. But man, I love this job. I love this business. And I love that you guys guys come along for the adventure thanks again for being here and watching all right the next one we'll be digging some more and that'll be out soon uh but until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on locker nuts all right there's the auction playing live on youtube right there let me take you for behind the scenes look guys I'll check. Just a second. Three necklaces, two earrings. Yeah. That's good. It's going good. All right. Just selling.